So you guys, I'm in the car. I just finished shopping at Dar Dollar Target Spot or Dollar Spot or whatever it's called these days. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys what I picked you up, what I picked up to decorate for this party. So I had gone to Target for um, something totally different. I went for cat food and I decided to browse in the Target dollar spot and voila, my tea party came together. So I wanted to show you guys just a few things that I picked up for the decorating of my table. So they have these really cute like little um, jars. I have a couple of um, these from last year, but they were just clear or the like ceramic, white ceramic, and these are colored and they kind of go with the theme I had going so I picked up some of those I also picked up these really pretty tulips that they had now these were three dollars each which is a little pricey um, I picked up six of them I probably would not buy these on the regular but because I was going for this party theme I went ahead and picked these up um, I picked up two of each color then they had the cutest little um, gold like I guess insects you would call them um they were also three dollars each I picked up each of them um so I got this bee a dragonfly this one is the one that really caught my eye because it totally reminded me of Alice in Wonderland but it's a little snail and then I also picked up the grasshopper a couple other things that they had over there um that went with this Alice in Wonderland theme I picked up these bunnies. Now, these they had white bunnies also, um, but because I was going for more of a pinkish theme in my Alice in Wonderland theme, these went really well with it. They're like a tan color, so they have some bigger ones, and I also picked up a few of the little bunnies. The little bunnies were a set of two for three, and then the big bunnies are $3 each. And then the last thing that I picked up over there just for fun are these cute little bunny ears. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate those into the tablescape or for the party, but I thought that they would be really fun to either wear or you could give them away as party gifts. So let's jump into the DIYs. I also had... Um, went to the Dollar Tree as well and I picked up some things to create some DIYs for this tablescape. So let's jump into those next and then we will have the final reveal of our tea party tablescape. So for our first DIY we're going to use this bunny cutout that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm just using some pink acrylic paint to paint the entire bunny. So I don't do anything with his tail because I'm actually going to cover up his tail anyway. And then there are these two wood pieces um, at the top of the bunny that are kind of like a raised area in his ear. I go ahead and use um, just a tool to take those off. I just uh, lift them up so that they're off and a little bit of the wood gets left behind but it's not going to make any difference because we're going to put those two pieces back on top once we get our napkin on. So these napkins came from the Dollar Tree and I do go ahead and take the white backing off of the um, napkin and I just want to adhere these butterfly and flower pieces to it. Now I am not going for a totally clean look here because I want this to kind of look vintage so I was okay with all the wrinkles. I didn't even try to get the wrinkles out. Um, but if you want a smoother look here, you can always spray some water on top of your napkin to kind of help smooth it out. But these are really thin, so you want to be very careful um, when you go to smooth it out. And I just covered the entire bunny with my napkin. And then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to cut off any of the excess napkin. Um, and then once I get the excess napkin cut off, then I'm going to take my sanding block and I'm going to sand around the edges. So because these napkins are pretty delicate, this sanding block was brand new and it was a little rough on my... Um, napkin so I definitely recommend just going kind of slow if it's a brand new sounding block. If you've been using it for a little while then it should totally be fine. So I did cover these little ear pieces with some Cashew Waverly chalk paint. It's hard to tell it looks really similar to the color of the bunny before we painted him um, but I'm just using some hot glue and I'm going to attach those pieces back to where they were originally on the bunny. 
Then I picked up these cute little clock pieces that I found at the Dollar Tree. They come in a set of three and then you get like three designs of each. I'm going to attach that to the bunny as well along with these giant um, cotton balls or pom-poms really that I also got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue that there where the bunny tail is. So I, that's why I didn't do anything to the bunny tail. I didn't even cut around it because you can't tell once we get at the pom-pom on. So originally I was just going to attach these little clock pieces, like one of them, to the bunny, but then I decided um, that I wanted to add a bow and to have it look like the clock was around the bunny's neck, and so um, I decided to just use a piece of ribbon I had in my stash, and this is just a hot pink ribbon that kind of matches the napkin. I just took some hot glue, I glued it around the neck of the bunny, and then I turned it over and I made a really simple bow um, doing the fold over method. So as you can see, when I glue it on there, I actually glued it on backwards and I had to take it off and turn it around. Um, but I just go ahead and glue that there and then I have the middle open to glue my little clock piece on. And I chose to um, glue on the one that kind of looked like it was hanging, like a pocket watch, since the rabbit in Alice in Wonderland has a pocket watch. And then here is the final look of our bunny. I think that he turned out really adorable. I want to make another one because once I get the table scape all set up, I think it really deserves two on the table. So today's video is part of a springtime tea party collab put on by Kiki DIYs and Crafty Leamy. Please make sure you go down into my description box and check out the playlist of all these amazing creators and what they came up with for today's Tea Party DIY. So for our second DIY, we're going to be creating some napkin rings and we're using some of these um, shower curtain rods, or not rods, they're shower curtain rings, and some chenille um, yarn that I got from the Dollar Tree. So all I'm going to do is wrap these around the shower curtain rings. It's a little time consuming, definitely you can watch TV doing this because it doesn't take a lot of effort or um, skill to make these, but they turn out so adorable. I was thinking to myself, wow, I really like the Chanel like as the um, ring part it really makes a super cute um, napkin ring then I'm just gonna take these little cotton balls that I got they're not little but they're like the oversized cotton balls that I had on the bunny tail and I'm just going to glue one to the middle of each one of these rings once I get the Chanel stems on and here you have a super easy but super cute napkin ring so if you saw earlier in my video I picked up these bunny ears and I think this is adorable because it sits right in the middle of the bunny ears and it looks like a super cute bunny is sitting there for our third DIY, we're going to create some placemats, and I just picked up these placemats at the Dollar Tree, and I'm using some Mod Podge along with a book that I already had in my stash. I'm pretty sure this book came from the Dollar Tree, however, I would suggest picking up any used books that you want to do for crafting at the thrift store. They're much cheaper, especially now that the Dollar Tree had raised their prices, because you can pick up used books all day long, any day of the week, at a thrift store for like a quarter, and so you could actually get five books from the the price of one over at the Dollar Tree. So I just pulled out some of these pieces of the book and I'm using my Mod Podge and ad adhering it to the front side of the placemat. And I just kind of go in any kind of pattern that I want. This particular book has the title of the book up in the corner of each page and I probably would do this differently with another book um, that didn't have that so that you don't get that bold title over every page that you put in there. Um, but then I took some brown acrylic paint I just really got it out of my brush as much as possible and then the glue is still a little bit tacky on here so I'm going over it in the glue with the paint so it gives it a more antique look and of course some areas are darker than others and that's okay because that's what gives us our vintage look I also thought it would be really cool if you used um, like an old Alice in Wonderland book. I couldn't find any and that book happens to be my favorite book so <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to use any of the copies I had because I probably have like two or three copies of that, no joke. <laughs> but here is how it turned out. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They make such fun shabby chic decor and you could do this for any kind of party that you had in mind um, and any book would do.
So now we are ready for party time and to have the actual reveal of our tablescape. So here are all of the pieces put together along with the other pieces that I showed you earlier in the video and with the few pieces that I had for this tea party. So I put the bunny ears on the plate along with my napkin holder to make it look like a bunny is jumping down the plates like the rabbit hole. And then I have a really pretty... Um, floral designed china pattern and so I am using that for my tea party today and the flowers are facing on to the plates and then I just kind of jazzed it up with my pioneer woman tablecloth and then this sheer table runner that I picked up from Amazon I absolutely think these gold um, insects that I picked up at the dollar or at the dollar spot target dollar spot really go well with my china because my china has a gold ring around it along with this cute little riser that I also picked up at the dollar spot and my little bunnies because you cannot have a spring party without bunnies and then I had this last little garden gate piece that I also got from the Target dollar spot I didn't do anything with it but I definitely think in the future I'm gonna jazz that up a little bit but here is the final look it makes a very beautiful spring uh, tablescape along with like a subtle Alice in Wonderland touch Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to go down into the description box and check out the playlist so you can get tons of spring tea time inspiration. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video.